हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल प्रिंस ऑटोमेशन डेस्टिनेशन दिस सेट प्रिंस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ प्रॉब्लम दैट वी एनकाउंटर व्हाइल वर्किंग इन यूआर ऑटोमेशन एंड देन लेटर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सॉल्यूशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्लेराइट एमसीपी सो व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम सो व्हेन वी वर्क इन यूआर ऑटोमेशन ड्यू टू चेंज इन लोकेटर्स ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर पेज आर सूट स्टार्ट फेलिंग सो हाउ डू वी फिक्स दैट for that purpose we go to the individual pages we get the latest locators by individually inspecting each page and then we feed those locators into the individual pages and as a result we fix it and if we encounter the same problem we need to again go to the same pages and we need to manually intervene and we need to fix it again so this is the pain point of any automation queue who is working in your automation so how to fix it with the help of player items to be this is what we are going to talk about today right so let us jump on to the discussion so the topic that we are going to talk about is self filling locators with the help of playwright mcp so with this playwright mcp we are going to say bye to our flaky test cases in fact this is going to revolutionize the qa with github github copilot along with playwright mcp so what is the challenge so flaky locators break test so if locators are flaky meaning if locators are changing frequently they will definitely break the test so this is what we are going to talk about as we know that we are working in industry where changes are inevitable and as a result sometimes we see the change in the locator as well as a result our test suite start failing and it become a maintenance nightmare or maintenance overhead and it lose the confidence as well meaning team start losing the confidence as well that the suit is not yielding the results so as a result it become a challenge so how to solve it this is what we are going to talk about so we are going to talk about self filling test automation so one way what we can do is we can use ai driven adaptability such as playwright mcp which can automatically update the locators by talking to the dom and fix the test phases another one is we can use different locator strategy for a particular element which we have already discussed in one video which i'll be sharing in ai can in case you want to understand where if one of the locator is not found it will fall back to the different locator and this is how it will try to self fill right otherwise we can create a resilient test automation suite so that our test suite does not fail so we can involve a lot of things here we can use this particular dynamic locator strategy or other ways by which we will make test suite resilient right so this is how we can self fill test automation framework the but but the one that we are going to talk about is we are going to talk about playwright mcp right so how self filling will work in this case so suppose we are on a sample login page we are we are trying to log in with the application previously id for the username was username field right so now it is changed to user login input right as a result our test case will start failing and we will get no such element exception right so what playwright mcp will do it will detect the failure with the help of nlm and then playwright mcp Uh, GitHub Copilot will use Playwright MCP to interact with the pages and will get the locators and will update the same with the help of GitHub Copilot as in mode, right? So now let us jump onto the practical demonstration. For that purpose, I am going to IntelliJ, and we are going to talk about the same project that we created or same test automation framework that we created in the previous session with the help of. GitHub Copilot is in mode along with Playwright MCP. Let us try to understand this particular framework first. So it is having a pounded XML because this is Maven based project. So if you will see, it has Selenium dependency, right? Then it has Cucumber dependency and it has Trustly dependency as well. Also, it has this Web Driver Manager, though it is not useful in Selenium four version, and we are already using Selenium four, so it is of no use. Right? Also, it is having this particular Apache, uh, this com and stack i mean for extent report right if i show you the folder structure so it has src main and src test in src test we have resources where we have feature file and inside this we have different test cases right similarly we have extent related configuration because we are utilizing extent report right in the java section we have step defs where corresponding to these steps we have the step definitions so you can notice this also we have a runner by which we can execute this test cases so feature is pointing to the feature location blue is pointing to the step def location plugin is for different type of reporting and tags we are keeping it blank so that all feature files or all test cases of this particular feature file can execute and it is extending abstract cucumber test class 
which indicates that this is indicated with test entry, meaning it is backed by test entry. And this configuration is enabled in the parallel execution, right? So all these things were developed with the help of GitHub Copilot is in mode, right? Now let me show you SRC main Java section. In SRC main Java section, we have constants, we have driver manager, where we have initialization logic, and then we have pages, where we have base page, we have card page, checkout page, inventory page, and login page, right? So in all those, all these pages, what I have done is I have made a modification, right? So if you see, instead of checkout, it is checkout, right? Similarly, I have made changes at other places as well. Instead of last name, it is last name, right? And instead of first name, it is first name, right? Inventory page, here also I have made inventory underscore item. It is IEM, T is removed, right? Here, R is removed. Likewise, I have made other changes as well. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm simply going to close all the tabs, right? And here we are using GitHub Copilot, right? So you see this is GitHub Copilot. In case it is not installed in your system, you need to navigate to this particular main menu. Then you need to click on settings. And then you need to go to main, uh, this marketplace. And here you need to search for Copilot. Once you will see our install option, in case it is not installed, you need to click on install. And then after you need to restart this ID and then you will start seeing this particular icon. You click on this icon and then after you need to link your GitHub account with this particular GitHub Copilot, right? And this is how you'll be able to use it. Now in GitHub Copilot, we have multiple mode, ask mode, agent mode and edit mode. Ask mode is similar to chat GPT where we give an input and it gives the output in the form of instructions. While agent has the capability to talk to the entire framework, it can read the file, update the file, delete the file, and perform many other operations. And it is about editing a particular file. This is the LLM, which is the brain of any AI tool. So I'm going to use Cloud Sonnet model. These are good at generating code. Once we have enabled agent mode, then we can integrate MCP as well. So if I click on this tool section, I'll see that Playwright MCP is configured in my system because I have already configured. In case it is not configured in your system, you need to click on add more tools. and once you will click on this, you will land on this mcp.json, which is something related to intelligent. And here you need to provide Playwright MCP configuration, which is available on the GitHub repository of Playwright MCP, right? And this is how you can integrate. In case you want to understand more on how to utilize Playwright MCP, what is MCP, you can check out my videos in the eye icon, right? Now what I'm going to tell it, right? Because Playwright MCP is available and I'm using GitHub Copilot in agent mode, which is capable of writing the files, updating the files, right? So I'm going to tell it, please execute my test cases and fix the test cases locators if needed using Playwright MCP, right? So let us see how it will behave. Okay, so it is reading the feature files. Okay, corresponding stepped up as well. So likewise, due to this GitHub Copilot as a mode, it is reading the entire framework, right? It is reading the login page.java as well. So you see it is using browser feature of browser.navigate feature of Playwright MCP. It will go to source demo. It will enter credentials, right? So let us wait for entering the credentials in my this particular prom window. It is already populated, right? That's why you're able to say prepaid. But it will enter by itself. It will enter password and then it will click on login. And this is how it will proceed. Right? So it has entered source uh, the standard user. And now it is going to add password, then it will click on login. So this is how it will get the locators, right? So this is the issue, like we click on OK. Now it is, meaning it is going through the entire journey, right? Based on its examination, it will navigate and it will try to find out all the locators, right? So it has added an item because this was part of one of the journey. So it will now click on checkout button, I believe, right? And it will check out the item as well. So let us see.
So this way it will get the latest locators of this particular website with the help of Playwright MCP and Playwright MCP has a snapshot feature. In fact, Playwright has a snapshot feature using which we are going to get the accessibility tree of the entire DOM and which is going to help us getting the latest locators and this is how it is going to utilize these locators to inject them directly into the pages and this is how the test cases locators will be fixed. So now you see it is going to complete the entire journey. So you see it has completed the journey, right? Now let me come back here, right? So based on my exploration, so what it has done is I have identified several issues with your locator. Let me update. So now it is going to each page and going to update. So now at this point of time, GitHub Copilot isn't mod is coming to the picture, right? So this is where GitHub Copilot is making these changes, right? So you see it is removing this particular line and suggesting the addition of this particular line. So we are going to click on accept all, right? And see. So my attempts are done, right? So that's why I'm facing this particular issue, right? Or what I can do? Now let me run it, right? Meaning this is how you can fix it, right? In my case, my limit is exo exhausted. That's why I'm not able to proceed further for this particular Nebi chat. It is saying continue as well. In case it is not fixed, we will try to click on continue as well and let us see whether it will be able to fix this entire journey. So I'm going to run all the test cases with this particular test runner and let us see how it will behave. So you see, all test cases are running in parallel because of test changing and we haven't provided the thread count. That's why all will run in parallel. So if I open any one of these, I'll show you the execution. So let me flip on any one of these. Right, it is taking some time. Yeah, it is launched now. So it will log in into the application and will proceed with the user journey, whatever is mentioned as part of that particular test case. So this is about invalid username and password. So it will fail at login itself. Right, so it got failed. Right, likewise other test cases will also be executed, right. In case this particular playwright MCP, right. In case this particular playwright MCP was not able to modify some of the locators, it will fail with no such element exception issue, right? So we will try to fix it as well. In case it was already able to fix, we don't need to worry. Otherwise, we will try to fix it, right? Because this particular request got interrupted with this particular maximum attempt issue, right? So let us see how it goes. So let us see, there was a one failure. So let us see. So it is waiting for different issue, right? It is having a different issue. It is a checkout issue by .css locator, I think, yeah. This is checkout, right? So let me type in continue. Okay. And see whether it would be able to fix this particular card page as well, right? Checkout page, sorry. So if I go to checkout, on the checkout page, part was not done. Right. So maybe, yeah, this is not done. So now you see as I typed continue, it is able to fix this as well. Right. So let it complete first and then we will accept one. Right. So it is updating the checkout page as well. Right. So wherever it is seeing the issue, it is updating all those pages. Right. So it has fixed now. Right. So now it is writing all the instructions. Let me click on accept all and now we are good to go. So let us see. So this time, all the test cases should pass. So this is how we can self-fail our test automation shoot with the help of Playwright MCP along with any AI tool which is MCP compliant.
<clears throat> so all test cases are running in parallel as I mentioned earlier, right? So it is running, right? So every test case would be in different journey, right? So if I show you some test case, so let us see. So this is valid username and password, right? And here it has entered, right? Okay. Some one would be related to checkout as well, right? So because there are like multiple test cases written based on whatever the test case is written, each test case will follow its own journey. And at last, it will show a pass, right? So this is how we can self-heal our test automation suit with the help of play item zipping. So let us see for this test case result as well, right? So all test cases got passed this time. So this is what I wanted to cover, guys. Thank you for watching. I would request you to please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you once again.